네, 오늘은 특이하게 저부터 시작해 보겠습니다. 814 함께 살펴보시죠. All right, let's start Acoustic Times. We switch chairs. Yeah, well, we switch chairs. Okay, yeah. so we're going to talk about a very special guitar. Yeah. And this is um, an 814CE Builder's mm. Edition that you're holding. Mm. It's really weird that I, I sit here. Yeah. <laughs> on your right it's side. It's weird that I sit yeah, here, yeah. too. I you're a host. You run the show entirely. Okay, yeah, all right. I'll try. Mm. Well, this is, let's see what happens. Maybe this is your new format. Okay. Or maybe you kick me out. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you never invite me back. <laughs> but this is a very exciting guitar because um, for many reasons, the... You probably know, you've reviewed them before. Yeah. Um, Andy, this is all Andy Powers' design. Mm. And the term Builder's Edition really is, is, is always thought about as from the most, to try to build the most comfortable mm. guitar for the player. Mm. So a lot of the things that he thinks are important are built into all the Builder's Edition guitars. And this is the latest one. Uh, of course, you probably know the 814CE is our best-selling U.S. It is the best-selling USA-made guitar, yeah, actually. my favorite. Really? And Still? Taylor, okay. Yeah. Okay. An 814 is a grand auditorium guitar, which is, um, we kind of like to call that the Swiss Army knife, which means it has lots of tools. It can mm. do lots of different jobs. That's right. And a, and a grand auditorium body size can be a good guitar for somebody who's a strummer, somebody who finger picks, somebody yeah. who plays jazz, somebody mm. who plays country, somebody who plays a church. It, it doesn't matter. Um, it's, yeah. it's, it works for many different styles of music. All louder. Uh, yeah, yeah. This, some of the special features on, on this guitar are, are designed for the player, as I said. And one of them, the, the, the contoured cutaway on the back, on the side of the guitar, is this is a really difficult piece of woodworking to do, mm. especially in a, in a production guitar. And I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it's actually curved this direction. Mm. So he wanted to he wanted to make that point where you transition mm. between the neck to the body as seamless as possible. So you see, there's there's no nub sticking out there. There's no yeah. chunk of wood, yeah. right? So that's one of the things that is is part of the cutaway uh, design on this guitar. Also, there's a bevel on the cutaway, mm. which means that you can really access these these upper notes without any mm. problem. A very comfortable guitar. And then, of course, the thing that people really love yeah. is the beveled, the, bevel cut, yeah. the beveled armrest on mm. the side. This guitar um, it has a... The other, the other things exciting about this guitar is that we've talked about V-Class in the past. And this actually has a slightly different V-Class design mm. than a regular 814. Mm. But it's... It, he won't changed. Slightly, uh, slightly tweaked. Mm. Sli slightly slightly, slightly different. Slightly um, he won't tell us what it is. <laughs> Because it's a secret. It's his. It's, it's his mojo. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Right? Okay. But um, that's that's kind of the thing that's really neat about the V class design is we're still learning about it. Mm. We're still he's still experimenting. Yeah. And every time a new guitar comes out, it's like, mm. wow, like, I can do this mm. to achieve a certain goal. Okay. So basically, an 814 CE V class bracing on this guitar, um, rosewood back and sides. You want to twirl around like you made me twirl around a second ago? Yeah. yeah. There you go. This is called this is called Kona Edge Burst which is a really nice little color on the Rosewood guitar to Kona, darken it. Kona, K-O-N-A, yeah. K -O -N -A, mm. to, to kind of darken up the, the look of the Rosewood. Mm. And, um, and uh, Goto 510 machines. Again, a, a standard GA, so the scale length is our standard 24 and, uh, 24 and a half inches long. Mm. And, uh, and uh, flip it around again. Um, the curved wing bridge um, is, a, is a feature of, are you uncomfortable? <laughs> the curved the curved wing bridge is a feature of a, a again a builder's edition guitar it's a little bit different than you would see on an 814 ce and um this particular guitar most builder's editions are are satin finish mm. this is the first one where he's actually got a slightly modified gloss top to it as well the gloss finish no. is special and it's a different treatment with a with a standard um uh standard uh, satin peg head yeah and um, of course, ebony fingerboard, uh, ebony bridge, ES2 pickups. Um, so give it a str give it a strong. And also, what's special about this? This is Adirondack spruce on the mm. top, and a regular a regular 814CE mm. is, is Sitka spruce. And give it a strum. Let's, let's hear you play a little bit. <laughs>
So the Adirondack typically uh, makes a little bit more volume come mm. out of the guitar, and I think it fills in some of that mid-range quantity mm. qu uh, quality as well. You know, where when you have a rosewood spruce guitar, generally you have a lot of a lot of low end and a lot of uh, a lot of high end, and mm. the mids are scooped. But that Adirondack really puts the mid-range yeah. out, out forward and in your face a little bit more. Mm. And um, I think I made a mistake. It's 25 and a half inches the scale length. I think yeah. I said the wrong thing. 25 mm. and a half is our standard um, scale length. Play play some fingerstyle on that for a second. Yeah. So you, you said that you're real familiar with the A14C. Yeah. Do you notice in your first impression? Do you notice anything different, or do you hear anything different about mm. it? Or what, what do you what do you sounds similar to you? Sound similar, but. Uh, a little bit smoother. Smoother, yeah. Huh? Smoother in the high, uh, high end ah, okay. uh, period, and okay. uh, and it features Indian rose. I think, I think Indian rose and tropical mahogany, and this is uh, Adirondack. Uh, Adirondack. Adirondack. Uh, yeah, I thought. Oh, okay. I thought it was. You uh, thought it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, it was Adirondack spruce, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and this is. Indian rosewood, right? yes, Indian mm. rosewood, mahogany mm. neck. But the the thing that's interesting about this guitar, mm. that's a four piece top. What? <laughs> that's the point. <laughs> that was the point. I, I told him I was going to surprise him. Yeah. So, look at it. That's a four piece Adirondack top. Okay. So this is an uh, this is uh, an important story because. You can't even see it, right? Four? Y yeah. Four piece. Yeah. I'll not not two. Piece. Huh? Yeah. So so this is the, the reason that this is important and the reason that I wanted to do, I wanted to switch chairs. Okay? Yeah. It's because cause this is a, a story that, that we need to start telling and people need to start understanding. And it gets back to the truth of the forest. Mm. There just aren't that many big Adirondack trees uh, anymore. Yeah, this is... Taylor thing again, okay? <laughs> You're right. It's really good. We're, yeah, we're we're we're, uh, we're leading we're leading the conversation. Yeah, you know, we started talking about striped ebony mm. ten years ago, mm. and now you see it on all types of guitars. Yeah, Bob Taylor started using sapele as mm. a back and sides mm. uh, wood twenty five years ago. Nobody mm. knew what it was. Now it's now it's the three fourteen CE, mm. which is one of our best selling guitars. Oban call mm. another wood that no one had used, right? Yeah. So this is um, this is Andy's statement about that a good you can build an excellent guitar if you're a good guitar builder mm. it you can build a nice four-piece top that sounds awesome mm. now we don't we don't have an 814 here to a b against maybe you can do that on a future show yeah but what i think you'll hear is more volume out of this guitar mm. and a little bit more of that mid-range presence mm. it, you know you can use your own ears and let me know what you think but the idea with this and, and what the reason that he is has chosen to do this on this guitar is that he wants to tell the story and um, it's still one. It's still from one piece of wood, but the way that it's it's designed is that if you have a piece of Adirondack spruce that's that's maybe this wide, this tall, mm. and that thick, mm. if you spin it around, you make three cuts. Mm. So now you have four pieces of wood. Yeah. You use the two middle ones. You open uh, up the two yeah, middle ones yeah. to make the middle middle part of the guitar, mm. and then the pieces below the two middle ones go to the outsides ah. so that's why that's why the grain pattern mm -hmm. you can't even really you can't see the four pieces mm. because the woodworking that skills yeah and the way that he knows how to build guitars mm. allow him to build a beautiful top that most people you wouldn't you know mm. you wouldn't even know it mm. and and the, the other reason that I wanted to do it the way we did it today mm. was in the end sound wins yeah right so in the end sound wins and there there will be i can already see the the, the people online mm. writing about this oh right? yeah they're gonna be oh taylor's cheap it's oh. cheap it's cheap but the reality is it's actually takes more time mm. to make a four-piece top than a mm. two-piece it's more work yeah right it's longer so but we still want to use those types of we love adirondack mm. but the reality is that that's what we need to do these days mm. we put this on our flagship guitar to show people mm that you can still make a wonderful sounding instrument yeah and it doesn't have to be two pieces it's, it can be four if you know what you're doing yeah it's impressive you know? so 
it's not that we're going to be making every guitar that way in the future, but it is a statement that he chose to make mm. on this particular guitar, yeah. and because he wants the uh, the conversation to start, it's 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 worthy of a conversation, mm. just like talking about striped ebony was ten years ago, mm. things like that. Yeah. So you know, again, we we know that there will be there will be naysayers online who who will mm. you know whatever they'll be trolling away, but it 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 doesn't really matter because. Mm. What you, what you need to do is experience the guitar, play it, and how do, does it make does it make you feel good? Mm. That's all that matters. Yeah, it doesn't matter how many pieces are on it, right? I was so curious about what's the difference. Right, uh, and mm -hmm. it, it's so impressive story. We we did the same thing yesterday. We showed a bunch of local dealers the, mm. the guitar, mm. and we talked about it. And um, I, I thank you for letting me come here to do this because mm. this is a really great forum to announce it mm. to the world and especially to the Korean guitar community so mm, yeah it's like it's like i can say he is oot saver <laughs> yeah, it, yeah right yeah. we we have to build with, with what we have mm. and we have to treat if we want if we want these materials to be in existence for mm. um your grandchildren we yeah. need to start thinking about You're it now. Always preparing future. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and you know, Bob is is that's what he's actually focused on mm. in this part of his career. Mm. Um, is is he's really into like replanting? He's got mm. his project in Africa for planting ebony. Mm. He's got his project in Hawaii for mm. planting koa, um, and so he's that's what he's he doesn't have to do any of that stuff. But it's mm. very important for him to leave the industry in a position that is different than what he inherited, mm. and he's seen in his fifty year uh, next year will be 50 years old will be Taylor will be 50 next mm. year and he's seen in his career the depletion of all those woods you used to take for granted mm. you know because nobody went back to um, Gaboon nobody went back to Cameroon and planted new trees yeah. 100 years ago nobody mm. did that right so so now we're coming you know we have to we have to learn how to be better better builders mm. with what we have yeah and um, I think this is a really good example of that mm. so it's not just for pieces, it's your philosophy. Again. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, 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 it's right, it's philosophy. Yeah. And I think, you'll, I think that you'll see more and more of that from, from other builders in the yeah. future because it's, it's just what we have to do. So. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Mm, really good. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's check the amplifier sound. Yes. Harisan은 뭐 너무 좋죠. 이 앰프 사운드가 아, 나뭐 어디로 뭔 말로 얘기를 해야 될지 모르겠네. <웃음> it sounds really good. Have yeah. you guys have you guys ever done a, a show on just the, the differences that picks make? Mm -mm, sorry. The, the differences that guitar picks make. No. Have no. you ever done that? Yeah. No. Turn turn the volume off uh, of the just play acoustically once. I, I I think I'm listening. You have a thin pick, right? Yeah, thin yeah. pick. Right. I can hear that. I always prefer thin pick. Okay. Yeah. yeah right. So so play something. Yeah. play the same thing with this pick okay just for your audience here same thing oh 1.5 it would be it, it's it's really amazing it's something that a lot of people it takes people a while mm. to understand that mm. and and this might be exactly what you want to hear which is cool yeah. but but people should experiment mm. with different types of picks and I said basically the heavier the pick, the darker the tone gets. When you go back to this, you'll hear the high end really changes uh, with the pick that you use. It's something. It's something that people need to experiment with. Mm. Just like, just like finding the right guitar for you. The pick and the strings you use really have a lot to do with tone. I thought it would be muddy and just heavy and. Mm. Uh, no. It's not, yeah. No. It's. I think also that when people start to play guitar, um, that they gravitate towards thinner picks because they're more forgiving. Mm. 
because you have to be a little bit more accurate with something that doesn't move as much. Mm, yeah. But like you're a really good player, so I'm not saying that about you're playing. But but it's a really different sound. Mm. That and I I could hear that right away when you start mm. playing. It's like oh he's that's a thin mm. pick. This is a good opportunity. You want to understand this thick pick sound? Yeah, yeah. I can express yeah my uh, the the variety of sound. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just it's just it's just whatever you want to hear. And maybe mm. maybe that's what you need for one song, but mm. a different song mm. might, okay. might lead you in a different direction. One more time. different music yeah yeah <laughs> cool. and thanks for letting me know yeah mm. you're very welcome thanks for letting mm. me uh let me switch chairs okay with you yeah <laughs> okay 자 그럼 멋진 시연 듣고 오겠습니다 뿅 네, 잘 듣고 왔습니다. <웃음> 자, 이렇게 오늘 엔디에게 정말 무리한 부탁을 굉장히 많이 하고 있는데요. 자, 이렇게 저희가 다시 역할을 바꿔서 원래대로 돌아와 봤고요. 오늘 이렇게 8 1 4의 사운드를 들으면서 또 설명도 또 많이 들었는데 전 아까 처음에 아, 이게 스펙이 뭐라고 생각하세요? 해갖고 저는 기본적으로 알고 있었던 그 스펙에서 아니 뭐 무슨 이거 뭐 로즈우드를 대체 먹으러 바꾸셨나 생긴 건 이렇게 생겼는데 에보니가 아니고 막 무슨 이렇게 만든 뭐또 다른 뭔가가 있나 뭐 이런 생각들을 계속 했었는데 에디론닥 스프루스까지 들었을 때도 사실 그렇게 놀랍진 않았었는데 그게 포피스라는 얘기를 듣고 그거를 이제 이렇게 재단하는 그 과정이 약간 그 우리나라 그 약간 갈비 이렇게 <웃음> 하는 것 같은 그런 느낌이 들더라고요 그래서 아주 재미있는 또 설명이었고 그 테일러가 그런 것들을 굉장히 많이 하잖아요 그 나무를 이제 어떻게 하면은 주변에 있는 나무들을 통해서 우리가 계속해서 좋은 악기를 만들어낼 수 있을까에 대한 고민들이 결국에는 이런 영역으로 어, 나무를 다루는 어떤 자세에 대한 그런 생각들을 좋은 선한 영향을 미치는 게 아닌가 라는 그런 생각이 많이 듭니다 자 이렇게 오늘 쭉814 어, 빌더스 에디션 어, 포피스 에디론닥 스프루스 탑의 기타에 대한 스토리를 한번 들어봤고요 그럼 마지막으로 이제 앤디에게 또 한줄평으로 어, 이 기타를 썸머리 한번 해보는 시간 갖도록 하겠습니다 Time for you to sum this guitar To sum it up yeah. So check out the latest Builders Edition guitar mm, It's like home shopping no. <웃음> <웃음> 아낌없이 주는 나무라는 표현을 조금 어, 바꿔서 아낌없이 나무를 아낌 이렇게 드리도록 하겠습니다 네. 이, 이게 뭔가 테일러의 어떤 철학이 좀 담겨있는 그런 접근 방식이 아닌가 네. 아낌없이 주는 나무에서 아낌없이 나무를 아껴서 계속해서 그 다음 세대까지 줄수 있는 여러 가지 공법들 오늘 아주 인상 깊었던 공법이었고요 네, 또 다음번에도 어, 테일러에서 어떤 나무를 톤운도를 새롭게 가져왔다고 하면 그 스토리가 계속해서 기대될 것만 같은 네, 그런 아주 재미있는 이야기였습니다. 자 오늘 이렇게 8일사 같이 보셨고요. 다음 시간에 이제 또 저희가 다양한 역할을 수행을 할 건데 제가 이제 고객이 되고 앤디가 저한테 기타를 판매하는 세일즈맨이 돼서 제가 어떤 기타를 좋아하는지 찾아가는 그런 과정을 어, 다음 시간에 한번 Find Your Fish라는 그 코너 속의 코너로 저희가 한번 준비해 보도록 하겠습니다. 네 오늘은 여기까지고요. 앤디가 마무리 해주시겠습니다. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Acoustic Times. Times.